So good afternoon. We've got some great brands in the room uh, this afternoon, and I hope to be mentioning some of them. So if I get anything wrong, shout, right? Those of you that know those brands, you can tell me where I'm going wrong. Now, why uncommon practice? Well, some years ago, I was speaking at a large conference in New York, and uh, we had the normal cast of characters. You know, you've all been to those conferences too, right? You get the same organizations talking again and again. So we had Disney, we had Southwest Airlines, we had Ritz-Carlton. And of course, they gave fabulous presentations. And the audience were enthralled. And they heard from these executives talking about the great things that they were doing. And everybody was writing down all of these, these pearls of wisdom. And suddenly, I was sitting in the audience, and I was thinking to myself, what are these people going to do with this information. Because there are only one, there is only one Disney, there is only one Southwest Airline, there is only one Ritz Carlton. And what makes them special, what makes them successful, is their difference and not their similarity. And so I suddenly thought, well, you know, if these people go back and try and do what these organizations are doing, then that's a recipe for being me too. It's a recipe for mediocrity. And that's the last thing you want in a, in a shrinking economy. Oh, by the way, um, I, don't, I didn't get to see the newspaper this morning. Is the economy still shrinking? Or is it, is it changed? No? Still shrinking. OK, thank goodness for that. OK, because it's nice to have some predictability. And it seems like it's changing on a daily basis. So in a shrinking economy, the last thing you want is to be me too or mediocre. What we need to do is to break out of the pack and give customers a reason to buy from us to give customers a reason to seek us out and give us their business rather than anyone else's. And so it got me thinking about, well, what is it that these organizations, these leading brands, do differently rather than the same? So it's not about best practice, because I think best practice sometimes can be bad practice if it leads you to simply copying. Michael Porter taught us that you know, the essence of strategy is um, being different, doing things differently. Um, it's not about doing things the same. And it's more important to know what you're not going to do than what you are going to do. So it's about being different. And that led us to doing some research with 140 brands around the world, brands that have great uh, reputations for what they do, enthusiastic customers, enthusiastic employees, fabulous results. And we set out to say, so what is it that they do differently? And not only what do they do, but why do they do it? What leads them to doing those things? And that's what I'm going to cover with you this afternoon. I'd like to tell you some stories about these brands. For those of you that have uh, read my book already, Uncommon Practice, the first book, um, I'm going to also cover a couple of examples of case studies that you won't have read about, new uh, cases that we've uh, been researching over the last couple of years, uh, a couple of very interesting organizations that you may not have heard of. So for those of you that have read the book, some fresh stuff for you, hope, hopefully, too.